Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, the total annual income of Kamal is 96,000 exclusive of HRA. He contributes rupees 500 per month towards his provident fund and pays rupees 5,000 as an annual premium for his life insurance policy. Calculate the income tax payable by Kamal in the financial year. Now we see that the gross income or the gross annual income of Kamal is rupees 96,000. Now according to the current financial year, if the taxable income does not exceed rupees 1 lakh, then the rate of tax is this. And here the gross income of Kamal is 96,000. So there is no tax. So the tax payable is nil. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.